hello and welcome back so now in this video we will add the pursuing or you can say chasing player so open up the enemy script and right here in the update function now we will say that if the player is in the vision radius and if the player is not in the shooting radius then we will call a function which will be by the name of pursue player and now let's quickly create this function so you can just simply copy the name from there and after this cart function we will say private void pursue player then in here we will say enemy agent dot set destination and we want the enemy to move towards the player position so we will say player body dot position this set destination basically means that you can assign a destination to this and as you can see the destination will be the player position so you can simply type player body dot position and as you know we already assigned the player body to our enemy script now if we save this get back to unity click on this player and guys for now let's just make the shooting radius as 5 okay and leave the vision radius as 11 now you will notice let me move the cursor now he is walking towards the point okay the walk point and you will notice right here that when we come in vision this will be a tick and the enemy will follow us okay so now let's just get close to the enemy now you will notice okay we are in vision and now he is coming towards us okay so this means that chasing the player works and you will notice when we walk away from him as you can see he is following us as you can see when we go there as you can see he change his facing and come towards us and now if we move there you will notice when we move outside as you can see he is coming towards us and now we are in the shooting range as well so now he will shoot us but we don't have a function for that but as you can see now the chasing works just fine and the last thing which we want to do right here that when the enemy sees the enemy sorry the player then we want to increase the vision radius and the shooting radius because let me play the game and show it to you guys Okay, if we run towards the enemy, now we are in the vision radius. As you can see, when we walk away from him, he follow us. As you can see. But now, if we walk really far away from him, you will notice that he will just simply stop there. So we don't want that. Okay, he just stopped there as you can see now he doesn't follow us anymore because we are outside the vision and the shooting radius as you can see so now when the enemy sees us we want the enemy to just simply follow us wherever we go and shoot us we basically want to increase this vision radius and shooting radius so for that right here when the player get in vision radius we call this function pursue player so now right here we will say that if we get in vision radius we will pursue the player okay so if we are pursuing or you can say chasing the player then first of all right here we will add all of the animations for the enemy but let's just leave that part from now okay right here we want to increase the 
vision and shooting radius so we will say vision radius equals to ATF we will make the vision radius as ATF and the shooting radius 25 F okay we will make it 25 units now let's just save this get back to unity now as you can see right here the vision radius is 11 and the shooting radius is 5 click on the enemy okay and let's play the game and you will notice right here that how this value will change now if we run towards the enemy as you can see now the vision radius is 80 and the shooting radius is 25 and now he will follow us and now we are in the shooting range so that's why he stops right there but now if we try to run away from it now we are outside the shooting range so he will follow us as you can see and now he can shoot us from there and also we can shoot him as well whoops let me move away okay he is a little bit in the air but don't worry we will fix that okay so now the enemy can pursue us with this turn see you guys in the next video